Hey everyone, welcome to Scholarships Corner. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition 2021. A couple days ago, I told you about Japan's essay competition, and now we're here with another amazing opportunity held in United Kingdom, organized by Royal Commonwealth Society, which is an essay competition. We're gonna discuss about it in detail in this video, so let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then do subscribe to get daily updates about scholarships, fellowships, internships, and much more. Also, don't forget to join us on our Telegram channel as well. You can find the link in the description or in the community tab of channel. An amazing and oldest opportunity for young students have been announced by the Royal Commonwealth Society. The opportunity is none other than the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition 2021. In this Commonwealth Essay Competition, thousands of young students from different schools participate. The program is to uplift the youth and to give them the confidence to raise their voices through their writing and to participate in making this world a better place. This International Commonwealth Essay Writing Competition started back in 1883. Every essay contest is based on a theme which is followed by the students of all 52 Commonwealth countries. Generally, the theme of the essay depicts the core value of democracy and equality. The theme for Queen's Essay Writing Competition 2021 is Community in the Commonwealth. As the world has got severely affected by the pandemic, the theme revolves around the Commonwealth community during the global spread of COVID-19. The participants for this International Writing Contest 2021 from Commonwealth countries are divided into two categories, Senior Category and Junior Category. The Commonwealth student from the age of 14 to 18 comes in the Senior Category. Similarly, the students below the age of 14 years comes in the Junior Category. However, each category has a different topic for the essay accordingly. Further, each category has its own winner and a runner-up. The International Essay Writing Contest 2021, along with its distinctive quality to uplift the youth in the writing arena, has a wonderful opportunity for school students to visit London for a week of education and cultural events. For young students, this essay competition is something they should be wholeheartedly striving for. It will enhance their writing skills and will give them the opportunity to broaden their vision while interacting with other international students. In addition to the fully funded visit to London, the winners will be receiving gold, silver and bronze medals and all the entrants will also receive the certificate of participation. So there are a total three benefits or awards that come with this essay competition. First is one week fully funded trip to London for education and cultural events. Second is gold, silver, and bronze medals. And third is certificate of participation for all the entrants. Now we'll talk about the eligibility criteria of the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition. So in this essay writing competition, entrants are divided into two categories, as I just told you, the senior category and the junior category, people who are born between 1st July 2002 and 30th June 2017, which means who are 14 to 18 years of age, will be considered in senior category. And the people who are born after 1st July 2007 or people who are under 14 years of age will be considered in the junior category. The residents or nationals of all Commonwealth countries can apply. The residents of Hong Kong and Zimbabwe can also apply. In the case of participants from non-Commonwealth countries, their entries must be submitted through their local Royal Commonwealth Society branch. Now we'll talk about the requirements of the essay competition. So the entries must be submitted in English language. The essays from any other language will not be accepted. The maximum word count for senior category is 1500 words and for junior category the word limit is 750 words. Exceeding the words will result in disqualification. The word limit applies to every format of writing, for example, essay, poem, letter, etc. Reference and footnotes are excluded from the word count. The uploaded essay of entrance should not include the personal details of the participants. The topics must be selected accordingly to the topics given in the senior and junior categories. No plagiarism will be entertained and plagiarized entries will be automatically rejected. Now, we'll talk about the topics of the essay competition. So for senior category, 
you need to discuss the following. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. Keeping connected through COVID-19, it's been 30 years since the end of COVID-19 pandemic. What does the world look like? And the fourth one is, imagine you are a head of Commonwealth nation heavily affected by COVID-19 and giving a national address at the end of the pandemic. What would you say to your community? And for junior category, we have three topics. The first one is, the year is 2050, and you've been asked to write about the coronavirus pandemic for a museum. What story would you tell? The second one is, tell a story of how you or someone you know helped others during the pandemic. And the third one is, we'll be with your friends again, we'll be with your families again, we will meet again. So you need to write essay on these topics according to your category. Now let's talk about the submission process. Once the entry is submitted, the entrants have to submit the following details on competitions at royalsociety.org. You need to send your full name, a complete identification number, school name. If we talk about the deadline for essay submission, for online entries, you need to submit before 30th June 2021. And for offline entries, the entries must arrive at the Royal Commonwealth Society office in London by 30th June 2021. So you need to go to the official link and you'll see a page like this. Simply click on start and then you'll click on individual if you're submitting the essay as an individual and then click on next. Select agree and click on next. And then you need to write your name and your last name and your prefix and click on next. After that, you need to enter your date of birth and click on next. Then you need to select what category do you fall in if you're a junior or a senior category. So select your category and click on next. And then you need to write your email address. Make sure the email address is an authentic one and you use it on an everyday basis and click on next. Then you need to select your nationality and then you need to enter your location of residence, for example, your town, city, state, country, and then select next. Then you need to tell them where did you hear about the competition. If you hear about this competition from this channel, you can select others and write the name of the channel as Scholarships Corner and click on next. Then you need to write the name of your school or your college and click on next. Okay, now you need to select the topic of your essay. Select the topic and click on next. Now you need to write the title of the entry, which means the title of your essay. And then you need to enter the word count. And then there's an option if you want to upload the essay in PDF or doc format, or you want to paste it in the text box. For example, if I select text box, then you will see a text box like this. You can paste your essay over here and you can edit it as well. You can see the options down here. You can bold anything. You can increase the text size. You can enter bullet points and numbers. And then after finalizing your essay, you can click on submit. In this way, your entry will be submitted for the essay competition. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow us on our social media handles. Thanks for watching. For more amazing and useful content, you can also join us on our Telegram channel. You can access the link which is present in the community tab. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.